In this video, we're going to learn how to add comments to our files. Comments are useful in helping us remember what our M files are designed to do. We're going to start by going back and adding comments to our tree data M file. So I can go over to the current workspace and open up that M file by double clicking on it. So you can see I now have three tabs here, my tree data file, the sector, function and the rad to degree function. So I'm going to work on the tree data file. So a comment in MATLAB is preceded by a percent sign. So let's say I want to add a comment about this DBH array. So above that array I'm going to put a percent sign and a description of what that array is. It represents the depth at breast height data. And then I'm going to put some space, and above the TPA array, I'm going to put a description of what that array is, and that is the trees per acre data. So now I'm going to save this file, save the changes that I've made, and when I run that file, when I execute the script, by typing tree data down in the command window. Notice it runs it just as it did before, printing out the DBH array, printing out the TPA array, and you don't see any evidence of the comments down in the command window, even though we have those comments up in the actual script file. So the other thing you should notice is that MATLAB automatically makes the comments green so that they stand out and you can easily distinguish them from other bits of code. Certain comments in function M files have a special role. So if we go over here and look at our rad to degree file. If we place comments directly above the function declaration, which is this first line here, or directly below the function declaration. Those comments appear when we type help and the name of the function into the command window. So let's add some comments directly above the function declaration and then see what happens when we type help and rad to degree into the command window. So I'm going to add a comment that describes this file. So I'll type D is equal to rad to degree of R. This function converts radians R to degrees D. So notice we give an example of what the function looks like and denote that R is radians and D is degrees. All right, so let's save this file. And then let's look at the help for the function down in the command window. So I'll type help and the name of the function, rad to degree. And notice it gives me whatever we typed directly above the function. The same thing happens if I take this, I'm going to cut and paste it directly below the function. Then I'm going to save the file. So the same thing will happen if it's directly below. So again, if I type help rad to degree, I get this same description. However, if I have the description above, and then I have something else below. Let me save this. When I type in help, I only get what is up above the function declaration. So for example, if I wanted to have a description down here above the conversion formula, 
I could put that there and it wouldn't show up in the in the help description it would just be a comment within the file to help remember what this formula does and let's add some comments to the sector function so we'll add some comments some useful comments above the sector function I'm going to add the comment so we're gonna start off by typing in a description oh, we'll use a lowercase l here l a is equal to sector of r theta computes the arc length l and area a of a sector of a circle now notice I kept typing and when it got to this line over here it went down to the next line and it automatically put a another percent sign there to continue on with the commenting so I'm going to keep typing here so the area a of a sector of a circle defined by radius r and angle theta in radians all right so notice this tells us a couple of things this tells us the order of the output the order of the input and it helps us remember that the angle theta has to be in radians this is a very useful help comment I can also type some additional comments inside the function to help us remember which computation goes with which output so after the arc length we might put a short comment that says arc length and after the area we might put a short comment that says area so we can put comments after commands as well but notice anything that I type after that will be in green because it's also a comment all right I'm gonna save this file and then let's look at the help so if we look at help sector we have our useful help comment right here and we don't see any of the comments that are below the function declaration so to recap you should now be able to add comments to a script or function m file and additionally you now also know how to use the help command in MATLAB and how to create function descriptions that can be accessed via the help command and one final note Commenting might seem a little bit silly when your files are quite small. In the cases that we've been looking at, we've only had maybe two or three lines of code. However, once your files start to become a bit larger, careful commenting of code can save you hours of headache as you try and figure out what the heck you meant when you originally typed up your code. And lastly, commenting is especially important if you're writing code that other people will use. It makes your code user-friendly.